What's up everybody? This is Prepper Princess and today we are going to talk about the most important prep that you can possibly have and that is water storage. This is my water barrel and I'm going to go over a couple of different options for you of what is the most important prep that you can have and how you can properly store it. Mmm, water. So the first option we're going to talk about is the 55 gallon water barrel. This is a full barrel. I am affiliated with emergency essentials, but I did purchase this myself about eight years ago. Back then it cost about $40. Right now you can get them on emergency essentials, which is the cheapest option available for about $79, which does not include any parts that you might need. The first accessory that goes with a water barrel is a water barrel key. So the key works a little bit like this. It unlocks each of the sides, which are a protective water barrier, and then you open it up. The second accessory that comes with a water barrel as a first timer, you can just get the barrels, just the barrel, is gonna be a weird thing like this. What this is, is a pump, and it goes in the barrel like this, and then you take the second end, and it goes into a bucket. This will, there's gonna be little grooves inside and grooves here or teeth, I think that they're called. And it does go ahead and screw in to tighten to make things a little bit easier, like so. And then what you do is you just pump it. There's little hand grooves right here where you put your fingers and then it pumps like so. Let me get a close up of this, like so. And then as you can see, the water comes out and it goes into the bucket. This is fairly easy. Once you pump it a few times and the barrel is full, it just kind of goes on its own. Okay, folks, just keep in mind that there are good sides and bad sides to every different type of water containment system you can have. The bad side about the water barrel is that it is not easy to move. The good side about the water barrel is it's not easy to move. So if your house is getting raided, it's likely they're not gonna go for the water barrel. A secondary option, which is much less expensive and much easier to carry, is gonna be a typical five gallon water jug. These water jugs, you can find them at Walmart, uh, Winco, pretty much anywhere where they sell Am Alhambra or have the automatic dispensers. These are gonna weigh about 35 to 40 pounds. And again, the good part about these and the bad part about these is that they're easy to move. So if you are getting robbed, these are gonna be easy to move. But think about it this way. If you have any tendency to bug out, these are gonna fit in your car. The barrel's not. Unless you have some sort of special power or you're the Incredible Hulk, you're not gonna be able to move this barrel, but you are gonna be able to move something like this. Another option that you do have is a BPA-free container. This is a water jug purchased at Winco per, for approximately $5. These are also five gallons, so they're gonna be easily transportable. They do have a handle on top. And as you can see, it says right here, five gallon new bottle. So it's something that you're gonna be even, that's gonna be easy to move. It's something that you can put in your car and they, since they're square, they do stack easily on shelves. Keep in mind everyone that 80 to 90% of the United States population relies on their local municipalities to obtain their water. What are you going to do if the lights go out and the water no longer works? This is by far the most important prepping item you should have and it should be the first thing that you purchase. I will leave my link in the description to Emergency Essentials where you can purchase the rain barrel. If you choose not to purchase with Emergency Essentials, that's fine. I just hope that you will take this into consideration and at least get yourself one water barrel so that in case the lights go out, you and your family will be protected. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out.